Had three sales yesterday for a total profit of $18 on eBay. So gonna run those up to the blue mailbox. It's 60 degrees outside today, so definitely getting warmer. So I'm gonna take the bike out, put a few miles on it. Uh, I might do the mailbox route. Uh, or I might actually, uh, if I wanna ride a little bit longer, I might do a different route today that I have not made a video of yet. It's like a different uh, apartment dumpster diving route. So hopefully I'll find some cool stuff. I actually just ordered two more pairs of these on Amazon. They're uh, the orange ones though. We got large, hopefully that's the right size. Maybe these are XLs. But these are about done. These are the ultimate dumpster diving gloves though. These buckheads. They're like uh, cold weather, wet weather gloves. Water resistant. Another pretty windy day. I think I'm gonna save that other apartment route for another video. This will be a mailbox route video. gate listings today. I was hoping to do tw get 20 done today before I go to bed. This little cluster of three dumpsters here is usually pretty dead. Sometimes I get some packing material out of here, but that's about it. Here's for the movie theater. It's usually just full of popcorn. Popcorn, soda, cups. It smells like popcorn. Nothing for me. Nothing.
So you, that's empty. Those empty tubs of ice cream are not recyclable. You can't recycle anything that has any kind of food residue. So that could be a load of, a whole load of contaminated recycling there that possible that whole dumpster will end up going to the landfill just because of those two things of ice cream in there. That's really all it takes to contaminate a load. It has some broken glass over here. Um, some expired food items from the dollar store. Especially not dumpster pork rinds. That is not happening. That is not happening. Well, nothing in there for me. Street, uh, street sweeper dumpster. Can't say that. Street sweeper dumpster. Uh, drink holders. Burlington Coat Factory took the impact of dumpster it used to be there. Cleaned out an office, some paper stuff. I see a little bit of copper in there. A little bit of copper wire. Go ahead and grab that. Is there anything else of interest in there? Pretty sure. No, it's a drop some in there. Copper, some more cabling. Not much of wire here. See my last video where I smashed my my rear rack. So I don't have my totes today. I do have a handy dandy backpack. Just 
this is a phone cradle. I don't know if I have the phone. It might be in there. So, something I want to be wary of. I'm stuck in the glass right now. Those wires and stuff work. Got some software. or a zip disk software software more computer stuff in here really disorienting when you're watching these videos the camera bumps into something. Someone needs. Maybe not that. A clip art CD could be something good. Um, some big drivers. This is an old utility disc. Not sure what's in here, but I saw some Microsoft discs in there. Don't know what's on that zip disc. It's just a blank disc. I don't need that. Grab this wire. It's all in my bag. What I'm going to do with that boom box. Able to strap that to what I have left of my rack. I 
I don't know what happened to my camera there. It was some kind of SD card error, but it did stop recording. I was able to get that boombox strapped to what I had left of my carry rack, my rear uh, carry rack on my bike, and uh, hit some more dumpsters and found some more stuff, and I'm going to show you everything right now. Okay, so this is what I grabbed in uh, the like 45 minutes or so that I was out. Uh, rat's nest of wire here. Got this phone cradle. I did not find the phone to go with it, so that's going to get scrapped. The old Dell mouse here that's really well worn. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's going to get scrapped out. A couple of brass keys. I'll go with my brass stuff. Uh, that Sony boombox, and I did find the power cable to go with that, so that's cool. I haven't powered it up yet. There's something rattling around inside it, so I'm going to open it up and clean it up and check it out before I, I fire it up. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll get something out of that. Some magazines that are pretty much like new. Um, probably, I'm not going to try to sell those. I'll probably keep some of those myself and just read them and uh, see if my wife wants to take any of those to her office. Got some cool uh, old software here, uh, KDS driver disc. I believe this is for a uh, scanner, possibly a printer. I don't know, decalibrated printer. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, this zip disk has data on it, so I'm actually going to uh, just trash this. I don't have a way to wipe uh, zip disks right now. I don't have a zip drive that's working in anything, so that's just going to get destroyed. Vintage uh, clip art, 1999, uh, kind of cool, on CD. Symantec uh, PC Anywhere uh, version 8. This is uh, like old utility software for PCs. For uh, Windows 3.1, DOS, Windows 95, and Windows NT. Uh, some more vintage uh, PC stuff, vintage uh, at least, 90s. Uh, so I guess that's vintage at this point. Uh, old power supply manual. It's for an Advantech, I think. Yeah, PS150 switching power supply. I d don't think anyone is going to be looking for this. This is probably going to get thrown in the recycling. Uh, this is a cool find, though. This is the uh, driver disc and the manual for an old uh, motherboard. Uh, very cool find here for uh, yeah, Biscuit PC, uh, PCM5862 uh, Pentium motherboard. So, yeah, kind of neat find there. Uh, another cool find, uh, vintage Windows 95 original CD-ROM disc uh, with the documentation. Zoom modem driver disc, 56K modem driver disc with the... Uh, Little brochure and the manuals and yeah, quick start reference guide and then a TAC CD-ROM drive driver disc and manual so uh, yeah some cool stuff to put on eBay nothing groundbreaking but uh, some some good good like bread and butter type items for me there and uh, a little bit of scrap so yeah not bad thanks for watching the video.